What you're looking at behind me is pure, unadulterated football passion. As the Hall of Fame sports writer, the late, great Frank DeFord once wrote, there's no such thing as a bad NFL city, only bad NFL owners. And we won the lottery in hell with Stan Kroenke. So the XFL comes to town, and over 29,000 St. Louis football fans came to support the Battle Hawks, facing the Guardians, and they were not going to be disappointed today. Third play from scrimmage, Matt Jones sees daylight, runs to it, 49 yards on the scamper. Fourth play from scrimmage now, it's just smash mouth football. Christine Michael will plow into the end zone and the place absolutely erupted. Then some fun on the kickoff. Keith Mumford will start to run left. Joe Powell will run right. He played one season at college football at Global Institute of Technology. And that's technically a 90 yard run. Battle Hawks win. 29 to 9, Ahmad Hicks begins our post-game coverage. It had been more than four years since St. Louis fans saw a football team inside the dome. And you could tell they missed the sport. When I was with the Seahawks coming to play the Rams, when I first got into the league, man, it was that same energy. The crowd just loved football, the city just loved football, man, and we happy to be here. Several Battle Hawks said they knew the crowd would be nuts, but they really had no idea what to expect. It was louder than expected, actually. Uh, but I mean, it, it was it was good. The energy was great. Fans were just rabid, and it was exciting, and it was why we do this and why you love football. It's, it's just contagious. It's just contagious. Whenever you know you got fans like that supporting you, it makes you want to go out there and play that much harder. The Battle Hawks even gave fans a bit of history when Joe Powell took a kick return to the crib, something he said he knew would happen. Before I came to XFL, I played arena football. And I had six kick returns in the arena, so I already knew I was going to score. For some, they were a bit surprised. I didn't know he had that other gear. It was great to see, needless to say. And we can't forget to mention, mixed in with the cacaws and some great costumes, was an occasional chant. I grew up here in town, so uh, you know I understand the Cronky chance. You know I know how it hurts, and I think today we went out and proved that we are a football town. If St. Louis fans had to wait more than 1,500 days for professional football to return here at the Dome, but the team they lived up to those expectations and they exceeded them. Now it's back to the drawing board to get better for next week. For more on the fans and how they enjoyed today's game, let's toss it over to Corey Miller. Thanks, Ahmad, and yeah, fans were ready for the return of football after a four-year hiatus here in St. Louis. There wasn't an empty seat in the crowd. Over 29,000 fans showed up. They packed the stands, and they packed the parking lots outside. The cacaws were out. <laughs> the lines were long to get in, and we're talking really, really long. And St. Louis showed up big time, from big tailgates to Mr. Big Game himself. This is St. Louis, man. They uh, look, they 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 love their sports, all sports. Uh, they love their sports heroes, you know. Um, so this is this is awesome, and it's good to be back for home open. It was 1,529 days of pent up frustration, all coming out at once. We're glad football is back in St. Louis, where it belongs. The energy only amped up inside the dome in front of a crowd of 29,554. The costumes were impressive. The anti cronky chants were loud and clear. And the Battle Hawks put on quite the show, and the coaches and players felt the love. You know, this is the type of town I grew up in. It's a blue collar town. Hardworking people that just want good, real, hard nosed sports. I love this town. This, this is great. I mean, I, I think that they love us. You know, and we're giving them what they want. I grew up here in St. Louis. I got to say, you know, St. Louis football is back. Did a mic drop, my, my adrenaline was just skyrocketing. We're proud that the town has, has you know, embraced us as much as they have. Uh, everywhere I go, you know, everyone's just like, go Battle Hawks, and they're ready to see what we can do. And when the clock finally hit zero for the first Battle Hawks home win in franchise history, pretty much everyone inside the dome felt like it was just the beginning of something special. I open up that top section because I honestly think we can have this whole city popping. If there was any doubt about St. Louis's worth as a football town, this crowd proved everybody wrong today. And they'll look to do it again next week against Seattle. From the dome, I'm Corey Miller, 5 on your side sports.